up. No. Too tired for this. Ugh, fine. Whatever. Stupid alarm. I hate Mondays. The worst day of the week. Hey, honey. Good morning. Good morning, Rye. Yeah, good morning. Monday blues hitting you, huh, Rye? Yeah, definitely. Have some breakfast, honey. I made scrambled eggs with some stuff in it. Sausage, onions, tomatoes, good stuff. Mom, you know I hate onions. How could you hate onions, Ryan? They're delicious. I love them. I don't. They're gross. Mom, why couldn't you just make normal scrambled eggs? Because it's nice to change things up once in a while. Just try it. It's delicious. Yeah, Rye. Like, don't knock it until you tried it. No thanks, I'll just have cereal. Come on, Ryan, I've worked really hard on this breakfast. I'll have some. Gosh, Ryan, you're so picky. I'm not picky. I just don't like onions. There you go, honey. Thanks, Mom. This is good. Ryan, you're missing out. Stop, that's so annoying. No, really. Like, the sausage and tomatoes really add something to the eggs. Mom, you should make it like this from now on. Well, since Ryan didn't have any, maybe there will be some left over for you tomorrow morning. I would love that. Thank you. Okay, well, you kids better hurry up. The bus is going to be here soon. Okay, Mom. Hey, kids. Hey, Miss Thorne. Hey. Hey, Ryan. Hey, Chris. Hi, hey, Ryan. Yo, Ryan, how was your weekend? My weekend was good. Do anything fun? Nothing crazy. Just played some Fortnite, went out for dinner, and watched a movie with my family. Cool, what movie? Megan. You know, the one about the robot girl who goes around killing people? It's pretty creepy. Oh yeah, I haven't seen that one. You should, it's really good. Hey, guess what, Ryan? What is it, Chris? Alright kids, now I hope you had a great weekend. So this week we will be going over the different layers of the earth. So first we have the crust, which is the outer shell. One fact about the earth's crust is, it's made up of rock, and it makes up less than 1% of the earth. But Miss Thorne, we already learned about this last year. I know, but it always helps to go over it again. Sometimes we just need a refresher, you know? So next we have the mantle. The mantle is basically a thick layer of silicate rock that measures 2,900 kilometers, and it makes up 67% of the planet. Another fact about it is that it's very hot. It can reach temperatures of up to 1,000 degrees Celsius. Whoa, that's hot. Yes, it is, Robert. Like, if you went to the mantle, you would die. Yes, that's a good point, Robert, but no one knows for sure. Anyways, next up we have the core. It's made up of two layers, the outer core and the inner core. Both layers are made up of iron and nickel, and they make up about 20% of the Earth's radius. Now, the core is the hottest of all, even hotter than the mantle. Oh my gosh. Yep, you would definitely die. Hey, Miss Thorne, is it possible to dig all the way to the core? Good question, Elena. Now, it's possible, but it would take a very long time. Heck, I don't think anyone has ever made it to the mantle, even. Way too deep. So what were you saying? Oh, yeah, I want to show you something. Okay, what did you want to show me? This. Wait, is that drugs? It's a substance called ecstasy. You take it and it makes you high. It's the most awesome feeling in the world, man. What? Dude, are you crazy? Where'd you get that? Well, this past weekend, I went to my uncle's birthday party. So, what does that have to do with it? You know my cousin Zach, right? Isn't he 16? Yeah, anyway, he begged me to try ecstasy, so I did, and man, was it awesome. I had the best time of my entire life. If anything, it made my uncle's party even more fun. You should try it too, bro. Trust me, you won't regret it. It'll help with your Monday blues. I don't know, man. This doesn't seem like a good idea. Come on, man. I took it and I'm fine. You'll be fine too. Don't you want to have the most fun you've had in your entire life? Wait, are you guys talking about drugs? Yeah, Jordan. Chris is making me try it. Come on. I'm just trying to show my best friend a good time time. Dude, not cool. Yeah, don't do it, Rye. Don't listen to him, Rye. Come on, let's go somewhere private and take it. 
I really don't know about this, Chris. Is it really worth it? Yes, trust me. Hey, Miss Thorne, can we go to the bathroom? Sure, guys. Just make it quick. We will. Come on, Rye. Ugh, fine. You guys are gonna get in trouble. We'll be fine. Come on, Rye, let's go. In here. We can't go in there. That's the girls' bathroom, you idiot. Shoot, my bad. I'm so stupid. Those drugs have messed up your head, bro. Fine, bro. Don't worry about it. Sorry. The boys' bathroom is over here. Come on. Alright, now that we're alone, let's get this party started! Woo! I'm still not sure, man. Come on, bro. Don't be such a wuss. Just do it! I just don't want to do anything that isn't safe. Come on, man. I'm your best friend. Would I tell you to do something that wasn't safe? Oh, fine. Give me it. Well, are you gonna take it or what? Oh, I can't do it! What do you mean you can't do it? It's simple. You just take one, put it in your mouth, and swallow it. I'm gonna do it right now. Watch me. I really can't do it, Chris. I'm too scared. Dude, just take the ecstasy. You can do it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Oh no, is there someone else in here? Dude, they heard our whole conversation. We're gonna get in trouble. Great. Hey, Sheldon. What up, man? What are you guys doing? Um, going to the bathroom? We had to pee. Are those drugs? No, they're laxatives. Yeah, Sheldon. My friend here needs them. He has trouble going to the bathroom. I don't believe you. I'm telling Mr. Moon. No, don't! Get back here! Sheldon! What is going on here? Miss Jones! What's with all the yelling? The three of you should be in class. Don't look at me. They're the ones doing drugs in the bathroom. What did you just say? Drugs? Yeah, those two are taking Molly. It's ecstasy, Sheldon. Same thing, Chris. Molly is another word for ecstasy, just like MDMA. Whatever. You're such a tattletale, Sheldon. Ruining our fun. Hey, enough of that. Do you have any idea how serious this kind of thing is? You could get addicted to that stuff. My husband's an alcoholic, and it's not good. He drinks a case of beer a day because he's addicted. Well, we're not your husband, Miss Jones. Ryan and I will be fine. She does have a point, Chris. You two are going to the principal's office. But I didn't even take any. Yeah, he didn't take any. He was too scared. Go, now, before you get into even worse trouble. Come on, man. We better go. We have no choice. This is so unfair. You get back to class. Yeah, I'm calling you to report an incident that happened in the bathroom just now. I just caught two of my students using drugs in the bathroom. Chris Brooks and Ryan Baldwin. Anyway, they're on their way down now. They were using meth lead and, oh, I don't know how to pronounce it. Ecstasy, Molly, MDMA, whatever. All right, where do we go again? I'm confused. We go in the main office, I think. Can't believe that both of our boys are in trouble. What a coincidence, right, Ange? Yeah, Jen. Can I help you? Hi, so my friend and I both got a call that our sons are in trouble. Chris Brooks and Ryan Baldwin. I'm Angela Baldwin, Ryan's mom, and that's Genevieve Brooks, Chris's mom. Anyways, I have no idea what happened, but we got here as fast as we could. I see. Well, you two can have a seat while I... Hey, you're both here. Good. So you can follow me. Your sons are in Roland's office. Ryan, Chris, your moms are here. Hey, my love. Hey, Mom. What is going on here? How did these two end up in here? Tell us what's going on right now. Well, Angela, Genevieve, your sons were caught using drugs in the bathroom today. Wait, what? Drugs? This can't be possible! I'm sorry, Mom. Chris kept pressuring me to try ecstasy, but I didn't take any. I was too afraid. 
my gosh, I can't believe this. I was wondering what you and Zack were up to the other night. I noticed you two were acting a little funny. Anyway, as a result of this, we will be suspending Chris and Ryan for three days. But I didn't take any! It doesn't matter, Ryan. You still chose to go along with it. That's why you're suspended, honey. Oh, give my son a break. He's just sad that his dad isn't in his life. Isn't that right, honey? Yeah. My ex-husband left us when Chris was only seven years old, and we haven't seen or heard from him since. He hasn't called or anything. I really miss Dad, Mom. I know you do, honey. It's part of why I like coming over to your house, Ryan. Because I like seeing your dad. Your dad is cool. Aww. I'll tell my dad you said that, Chris. And you know you can always come over. Yeah, honey. You know we're always happy to have you, Dave and I. Thank you. That means a lot. Aww. You have a father figure in Ryan's dad? Yeah, I do. Look, I'm sorry about what you're going through, Chris. We know how hard that must be. But please know that that's no excuse for drug abuse. What you did was wrong, honey. Yeah, we're lucky we don't get the police involved. You were using illegal substances. You could go to jail for a long time. Jail? I don't want to go to jail. Am I going to go to jail, Mom? Don't worry, honey. Nothing's going to happen to you. Also, you wouldn't go to jail, Chris. Jail is for adults. You'd probably go to rehab or juvie. What? Again, no need to worry. You're not going to either of those places. Even if you did, I would come bail you out in a heartbeat. Because I could never stand my baby being away from me. Now, come on, let's go home. Okay, Mom. And I'm not a baby. Stop calling me that. Come on, Ryan. We're leaving. I mean, Jen, are you even the least bit concerned? I mean, Chris was doing drugs, and he was pressuring Ryan to do them too. Don't worry, Ange. When we get home, I'm going to talk to Chris about the seriousness in all this. Come on, honey, let's go. Bye, Ryan. Bye, Chris. See you in a few days. Now, we're going to have a serious talk about this when we get home. Hi, Daisy. Yes, I'm home early. You happy to see me? Now go to your room. Suspension is not a time to be having fun. You're going to be grounded for the entire suspension, and no Xbox. But Mom... I don't want to hear it. Go upstairs. I'll be up soon to talk to you. This isn't fair. I didn't take any ecstasy. Ryan, can we come in? <sighs> sure, yeah, come in. Ryan, we need to talk. Okay. Dad, I see you're home from work. I'm guessing Mom told you what happened. Yep, that you were taking drugs at school. Again, I didn't take any drugs. I was about to, but a boy in my grade stopped us before I had the chance to take any. Wait, which boy are you talking about, Ryan? Sheldon Bala. Chris had the brilliant idea for him and I to go in the bathroom, which was where he pressured me to take the drugs. Little did we know, Sheldon was in there too. He heard our conversation and told on us. Well, it's a good thing he did. It was very dangerous what you were about to do, Ryan. These mind-altering substances, cocaine, ecstasy, meth, opioids, fentanyl? You can get addicted to them. You could get seriously hurt, Rye. This boy, Sheldon, he did the right thing, honey. He stopped you from getting hurt. But he told Miss Jones, the meanest teacher in the whole school. You know I dread going to school because of her. Makes me glad I got suspended, actually. I get a three-day break from having to put up with her. Look, honey, I understand that Miss Jones can be a little harsh. A little harsh? Mom, she's horrible. She's a miserable person. She takes her anger out on her students. You can't even ask her for help. She's gross. I hate her. Hey, Ryan, you do not call people that. That's not nice. Well, she's not nice. And she claims it's all because of her alcoholic husband. How is that my fault? If her husband makes her so unhappy, why doesn't she just leave him? Look, I don't agree with the way this woman treats you, Ryan. I really, really don't. But don't act like getting suspended from school is a good thing. It's not. I know it's not, Mom. You grounded me, remember? 
I'm just focusing on the positives, that's all. All right, now back to what we were talking about. Now, what about other types of drugs, like cocaine, heroin, meth? Has anyone ever offered you those? No. What about alcohol or cigarettes? No, Dad. No one has ever pressured me to smoke or drink. That's good. And another thing I need to mention is, just because everyone else is doing certain things doesn't make it okay. You don't want to fit in. You want to be safe. Yeah, honey. Don't ever give in to peer pressure like that. If anyone is ever making you do something that you don't want to do or that you're not comfortable with, don't be afraid to say no. Stand up for yourself. I know. It's just that Chris and I have been best friends since birth, so I didn't think much of it. I thought I could trust him. It doesn't matter whether it's a stranger or a friend or even a best friend. You shouldn't let anyone peer pressure you. Anyone. If you must do stuff like drugs, smoking, drinking, anything like that to be friends with someone, then they're not really your friend. Real friends want you to be safe. He's right, honey. Now, I'll still let you hang out with Chris because Genevieve is my best friend. But you must promise me that going forward, you'll be responsible and never give in to anything that isn't safe. And not let anyone pressure you into doing so. Can I trust you to do that? Yes, Mom. I now know that doing drugs is wrong, and I promise to prioritize my safety from now on. Okay, good. Sounds like you've learned your lesson. Also, Dad, Chris told me that he likes spending time with you when he comes over. Really? Why? Well, you know how Genevieve and her husband got a divorce a few years ago? Yeah, what about that? Well, it's been very hard on Chris. Apparently, he misses having that father figure in his life. And you've really helped him in that sense. Yeah, Dad, he sees you as a father figure. Aw, that's so nice. I love that. And Chris is such a nice kid. I love him. Well, what he did today wasn't very nice. But hopefully he doesn't do it again. Yeah, and I hope he doesn't become addicted to that stuff. I hope he gets off it soon. I hope so too, hon. Hey, what's going on in here? Oh, hey, honey. Hey, Maddie. Hey, what are you all doing in Ryan's room? Mom and I are just talking to Ryan about his behavior. He got in trouble at school today. Wait, what are you talking about? Like, what did he do? He and Chris got caught using drugs in the bathroom. Drugs? What do you mean, drugs? Ecstasy. Ryan, that's, like, totally dangerous. Like, what were you thinking? Yeah, I was stupid, but I didn't actually take any. Chris brought the ecstasy to school and kept asking me to try it. Yeah, Jess, Chris was peer pressuring him. That's not okay. Like, my dad had something similar happen to him when he was that age. He started smoking because these kids, like, pressured him to try cigarettes. And, like, it messed him up. Bad. Even to this day, he's still trying to quit. He's currently smoking cigars to cut down. I'm sorry, Maddie. That must be hard. I hope your dad is doing okay. He's fine. Like, at least cigars are better than cigarettes, right? Well, wouldn't say better. Maybe not as bad as cigarettes, but like me, you're trying to focus on the positives, right? Exactly. So, like, what's the deal, Rye? Like, did you get suspended? Yeah, Jess. Three days. Don't worry, this is not going to be a break for him. He's going to be grounded the entire time he's home. Really? I'm still grounded? Yes, you are. But just for a few days. I honestly think that Chris should get in more trouble as he actually took the drugs. But knowing Genevieve, she is not the type to discipline. She's too cool. Sounds like Regina's mom from Mean Girls. I'm not a regular mom. I'm a cool mom. I know what you mean, Maddie. Like, Genevieve literally spoils her son to death. She loves him that much. Well, that ecstasy stuff is gonna lead to his death if it gets out of hand. True. Isn't Genevieve the one who's, like, very into fashion? Yeah, Maddie. Like, don't you just love the way she dresses? Yeah, Jess. Like, the makeup, the heels, the -the over-the-knee boots, the jewelry, the nails. I've noticed she, like, always has her nails done up all nice. Yeah, and, like, all of her outfits are so cute. I agree. She's very fashionable. All right, guys, we better leave Ryan alone. He's grounded, remember? This is gonna be the longest three days ever. Sitting here all day with nothing to do. Well, you were bad, Ryan. Like, even if you didn't actually take the drugs, you still allowed Chris to pressure you into taking them. Yeah, honey, you were still in the wrong. You knew the whole time not to take the drugs, yet you still considered it. 
We just want you to be safe, Ryan. We don't want anything happening to you that would put your life at risk. I understand, and I promise never to go near that stuff ever again. Being grounded is not fun, it's boring. Well, we'll give you time to think about what you've done wrong, and dinner will be in a few hours. Now come on guys, let's get out of Ryan's room. Come on, Maddie, let's go to my room. Sounds good, Jess. <sighs> Man, I really screwed up. Never again will I go near that stuff.